She called it the pepper grinder. The pepper. There we did go. a video about her uh, grinding the pepper. I, I walked up <laughs> on her in the, in the kitchen and I yeah. was just like, yo, what you doing? She's like, I'm grinding the pepper. So I was like, yo, let me see. And she was grinding it. I was just like, <laughs> that's 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 nice. yeah. She was just like, get out of here, you mad nasty. Yeah, yeah. he rolled up on me when I was cooking. I was like, you always thinking about that shit. <laughs> yep. Look at you. Nice. Yep. He was like, more pepper. More <laughs> pepper. More, more pepper. pepper. More more pepper. More pepper. All right, now, what? what's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. Kadeen Ellis. I'm Deval Ellis. Kadeen and Deval Ellis are here with us. The Ellis's. Hey. Yes. By yes. the way, married couples. I love when we have married couples on. It's always my favorite episode. Oh, is it oh, really like that? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Because we get to we get both at the same time. Okay. Right, like right, usually right. we get the man's perspective right. of what his relationship is like, or we right. get the woman's perspective. But when we have both of you at the same time, then we really get like the real real. So. Ah, yeah. We had okay, Kevin good. and Jerika Gates on. Yes. Um, nice. We okay. had Shamari and Ronnie Devoe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I saw Kevin and Jerika at. Um, uh, rolling Loud in Miami a couple weeks ago, actually. And um, well, I had saw Kevin a, a few weeks before that, but mm -hmm. I saw them both together. Mm -hmm. And um, they're like, oh, we got to do it again. So hopefully we'll get them back soon. Oh, that'd be dope. They had a really them. good, really, really good time. But That's you guys are very experienced at being married couples and doing yes. all of this together. I yes. mean, I would hope so after 17 years together. Cool. Right. Yeah. yeah. But some people don't do that sit is down time. interviews together. And sometimes people, right. you know, learn a lot. Because I would assume that doing... The YouTube series and all of that is probably like therapy too. No, it is therapy. We've That's definitely we'll said that, that time and time again. Mm -hmm. It's funny because you feel like after 17 years you should know somebody. You know what I mean? But I feel like I'm learning him every day. So being able to talk about certain things. Well, we knew each other from like, young though. Like, I mean, we did, but we like who are we at, at 35 that we are when we were younger? You yeah, know but that's what, I mean? what I'm saying. 17 years, though, even though it's 17 years, you all of my 20s, fight. I ain't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all of my Here 20s. Here we are disagreeing out the bat. I felt like I was a different person. <laughs> okay, well, what we're gonna do, and I'm so glad y'all said that because we are gonna see what you guys know about each other. So, Devon, we need you to leave the room for a minute. Oh, oh damn. this is gonna oh, be fun. God. And I wasn't guys, prepared for like a game show, but as okay. a matter of fact, where can he go that he can't hear? Because he can't go in that room. Yeah, take him somewhere. Uh -huh. take, yeah, him somewhere. take him Down somewhere. Take him somewhere, and I'll text you when you can bring him back. <laughs> so we're gonna ask you some questions. And okay. When he comes back, he's gonna answer, and then we're gonna reverse it and nice. do the same for some you. Nice. Some newlywed game. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. They're not newlyweds. They're not newlyweds. Sure but our ain't. version of a newlywed. Okay. This is the been married game. The been the <laughs> been married game. Mad long. Okay. Mad long. All right. So, Kadeem, what is something yes. that Deval likes to eat that you can't stand? Ooh, um, that I can't stand. Jeez, and the funny thing is, he's the pickiest eater. I'll be willing to try stuff and whatever. I'm gonna say pork because I'm not okay. really a pork eater. Yeah, so me he, yeah. Eat pork eat. No like pork ham, on my fork. Ham, ribs. He likes all that. I'm like, eh, not so much. Okay, so who fell in love first? I did. <laughs> sure as hell did. Ask him after about two weeks. I was like, I love you. And he looked at me like, Thank thanks. You. <laughs> exactly. It was like the worst thanks. answer. I know, I know. I was like, damn, what did I just do? <laughs> okay, who says they're not in the mood more often? Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's absolutely me. Especially after three whole boys, I'm still trying to figure out who the hell I am. So yeah, I'm definitely the one that's like, no, I need a little yet. more coaxing, you know? Okay, so um, who's better in the bedroom? I am. <laughs> because when I put sit down, I put sit down. So I may not be in the mood all the time, but when I am in the mood, I, I, in the mood. I show out. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Tricks and shit. Okay, okay. what's your favorite move that Deval does in the bedroom? Ooh. He has a really good back shot. So that's okay. probably my favorite. Doggy, doggy. Doggy, doggy. Yes. What's your least favorite move that he does that you're like, oh, you gotta do this? <laughs> <laughs> now, well, this nigga be trying to put my legs behind my head, and I'm always just like, dude, oh God, like I can't. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it is uncomfortable, and I got the IUD in, and I'm like, I don't know if it's the IUD. And he's like, I feel that joint. And I'm like, yeah. So just don't put my legs behind my head, please. <laughs> and you know, I ain't as flexible as I used to be. So, all right, who spends more money? I do. Absolutely. He calls me the Amax killer, just so y'all know. Okay. okay. So I'm the Amax killer. I'm always <laughs> finding a way to spend money, but I told him it's for his comfort. So I'm mm -hmm. either buying something for the house or something to make myself happy. Plus, you're a hoarder. You know what I mean. A hoarder? Well, I mean, that's what he said. Y'all interviewed him already? No, we saw it. <laughs> we saw You know your guys' lives are out there. So that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... She looks so guilty, too. I she was like, wait a second. We didn't say whore. You we said like hoarder. Every, I mean, I could be like a little bit of both, depending on what the, the day is. Um, I do have a lot of things, though. I like all the things. All put of it that things. way. All of the things. <laughs> all right, so who is the giver and who is the taker in your relationship? Ooh... We argue about this a lot. He feels like he's the giver mm -hmm. and I'm the taker. Um, Do you agree? 
Be yes. honest. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. I need to do a better job of showing how much I appreciate him on a more consistent basis. So, yes. Listen, well, at least you know that's that one. There you go. See? <laughs> Therapy, baby. Okay. And Therapy. the last one is, what's the most embarrassing thing that happened while you guys were dating? Oh, early on. Early on. You mean embarrassing together or like his like, embarrassing moment or my embarrassing moment? It would be like with something that stands out as just having been embarrassing for both of you. Wow. Um, damn, I don't know what stands out as embarrassing for both of us. There's a time after I had my first son, <laughs> I peed on myself in the elevator because after you have kids, your bladder is loose. not set up. That's the way. understandable though. Your bladder is not set up the way it was, and I misjudged the time that it would have taken me to park the car and then get upstairs in the elevator. So I like totally just like let it rip. Well, I haven't had elevator. a kid, and I'm sure that's happened to me. Chill. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse. It's only when you gonna step get worse. Stop putting that key in the door, and all of a sudden you got to pee way worse. Pee way way it gets mm -hmm. worse when you're at the door. But yeah, I should have just took the stairs that day. But I was like, damn, motherfuckers <laughs> out of breath because I just had a baby. I'm not in shape. <laughs> Went to the elevator and I peed myself. I'm and did you just say that. fuck it and let I it go? I did say fuck it and let but it go. But you were in the elevator headed up to your home. I was. That's I was. okay At least you then. you were home. Right. At least I was yeah, home. But then I had to go back public, and like mop the elevator out and stuff. It was just like, yeah, it was a hot mess. I know they saw me in the cameras. I'm definitely sure they saw me yeah. in the cameras. Like, damn, she's just going to pee. Yeah. So our janitor was probably looking at me looking at me sideways like this bitch. I'm like, at least I cleaned it. But <laughs> oh, you did clean it. That's nice. I did. I probably would have slid off. I ain't leave Right? <laughs> I don't know who did that. Yeah, the bladder is not. Girl, after and that's when kids, someone gets it. in the elevator before you get off, and you're like, I don't know, somebody must have been Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like when you're know. in the bathroom, you take a shit in one stall, go out and another one, and be like, well, I don't know who did that in that stall. I just came out of this stall. Like, you know, that's a trick in case you ever got to go really bad. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's get Deval back in here and see if he knows your answers. <laughs> All right, let's oh, see. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared Wait, too. <laughs> no, but you stay. Yeah, oh, you stay. You stay. We got to hear. And then after he hears your answers, then I'm going to go out. Okay, got it, got it. Although some Bring of them him here, back. he's going to know already, but we're going to switch it up a little. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Sounds like Oh, fun. I got to tell him to bring him back. Hold on. Oh, oh we're <laughs> looking at the door. I'm, yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what's he even listening? Him <laughs> Where's right. he at? I'm going to try some Angela's juice, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, here he comes. Uh-oh. Welcome back. Let's see what saying. Let's see if you guys agree. You know, you guys have been together for such a long time, damn near two decades. Yes. So you know each other very well. Yes. All right. So, Deval, we asked Kadeen, what is something that you like to eat that she can't stand? That I like to eat. And she can't stand it. That she can't stand. God damn, what do I like to eat that you can't stand? Same thing I said, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because supposedly, <laughs> like, she's the... You're the picky eater. Or you're the picky eater. And so he, I'm always trying to get him to try new thing. things, and he's like, no. Yeah. Something, but there has to be something I like that to eat. You, yeah, that she, that she does, can't stand. So if y'all go like out to eat. eat, she's not gonna pick off your plate when you if get you this. Get, I know if I, if my hamburger is medium well, she don't want that. That's the only thing I can think of. Or medium. <sighs> no. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I said pork, like ribs and ham. Pork. Not really you it. love bacon though. See, it's not the same though. <laughs> there's bacon the same, and then there's like bacon, ham bacon. and pork. <laughs> pork is bacon. You gonna say pork and you love bacon? It's a difference. You're the only person that put like <laughs> bacon on your vegan So you got to give that a pass. <laughs> All right. You get a pass for that then. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So that. that's one wrong. Oh, All right, God. I messed up. My bad, baby. Come on, okay. Come on. Who says they are not in the mood more often? Her. <laughs> <laughs> you see how he ain't even breathe. He ain't even breathe. <laughs> what about Stephanie one. and Gigi? Y'all booed up. Who says that more often for you guys? He's more. He's not in the mood more than I'm not in the mood because he really? likes to go to the gym like in the morning. I'm like, what's up? You want me to suck your dick? <laughs> you just say that? Not like, the gym? gym. <laughs> yes, and he's like, no, I want to go to the gym. I say, Please. What? And, and, and I'm trying to knees. persuade him. I'll be grabbing him because it's the morning, so he's like a rocket, like crazy. So I'm That's like, what's what I'm up, babe? What? <laughs> and I go and I'll be like sucking on him, and he'll be like, no, I gotta go to the gym. After I come from the gym, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you have kids? Oh, like, oh. And then he comes from the she gym, and I'm not, I'm tired. Now I'm at eight already. I smoked a blunt. Nah, I'm taking, I'm taking that head in the morning. Then I'm gonna work out. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, you can go to the gym after you bust a nut. It's not that Hell bad. Yeah. But doesn't that make your knees weak? I like, was about to say, don't you need that testosterone before you go? That's what he says. I mean, I don't know. That shit don't he's work like, for I me. Don't care. I don't, I don't, he's like, I don't care. He's like, I'm, I'm going to take, take it at I'm any point. That. I can get it I'm at this point. I'm going to take that at this point. Yeah, I'm taking that. How old is your son? My son is my son is gonna be thirteen in a couple oh, see, weeks. See, 
you don't but count. But my son doesn't live with me. He lives with his father. This isn't yeah. my son's father. See, let's, yeah. let's trade. Let me send you my kids. <laughs> there's, there's nothing and I'm going to see how, how much you was trying to suck. get it. <laughs> if you just say to me you want to suck my dick, then yeah, that's happening. But it's, it's definitely me attacking him. Like, I'm he, like he, I'm mad and horny for him. I make He makes me mad and horny. What about you? Gigi? But then so, he leaves and then it goes away. Gigi just had a fantastic <laughs> vacation it. with her man oh, for my birthday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where did y'all Happy go? Oh, Turks yeah. and Caicos. I turned 40. Nice. Oh, that's what's oh, up. Amazing. I had a good that's time. what's up, yeah. bro. Um, I don't think he's ever not been in the mood. <laughs> that's what I'm talking <laughs> so about. you're not in the mood? <laughs> and surprise, even surprise. if I'm not in the mood, I still do it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. You would save me, but even if I don't but feel like doing it, I'm still going to do it. I've never turned him down or told him Unless you're in a fight. Yeah, but even then, I'm just like, all right. But what's the quality of, of I'm dick sucking? Like, right. <laughs> yeah. What is the quality like if you don't feel like doing it? That's the thing. Because he can tell when I don't well, feel like doing see, it. Well, see, it starts off like nonchalant, but then I start to enjoy it, and then I kick it into like my regular self. So. Okay. Oh, Plus, yeah. she just That's tying her, her badge up. I did. What? Word? Yeah, with, the, with the laser. Tricks. I have a 22-year-old daughter. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I had her when I was 17. Wow. Right. And um, I didn't do it because I felt like I was all wide as outside. Mm -hmm. um, I did it because uh, I have like this, I can't hold my pee problem. Mm -hmm. And I was told that <laughs> it a, helps. She can't with, jump rope. Like if I'm, if I cough, <laughs> if I'm call, if I call for a sneeze, right. I might like drip Sis, a little. I know. And um, mm -hmm. I was told mm -hmm. that that would stop it. And it did. It did it? I haven't peed on myself since. <laughs> well, we're going to oh, see by the time we get Yeah, I haven't peed on myself since. Gigi's the one that always got to get up in the middle of the yes, podcast and yes. run out. So if I just get up and walk away, don't be startled. Yeah, her bladder I, is I, the I, size I'm of not, a pee. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> sis. I'm just going to go she pee. She has no blood. I feel pain. Like, no. No I feel you, sis. But yeah, it made um, so that I haven't peed when coughing or sneezing since. Mm -hmm. And it's been um, almost a month. It's been like three weeks. And um, it's definitely tighter, and sex definitely feels better. Mm -hmm. And because sex feels better, my body shows through lubrication. And right, right, right. Life's great. She oh, got that wet, wet. I might have to get that doctor's I info. No Eardrop me, girl. Well, it probably helps. <laughs> I bet if you're dating a guy with a little dick and you did that, it probably helps too. Well, too bad that got it. Well, not him. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, too, bad that, too bad that when I had a guy with a little dick, I that wasn't, wasn't able to. Yeah, because that's, that's what I'm trying to say. You don't miss those days, I'm sure. Yeah. She'd be like, put some more laser on it. Yeah. <laughs> Give me another laser. Give me another laser. Give me another laser. so proud. All right, Tabab, so who fell in love first? She did. She said the same thing. Two weeks. She said two weeks. Yeah. And what was your response? Bonus round. Thanks. Did you love her though? Um, at the time, to be honest, at the time I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know myself. I didn't know what I wanted. I wanted to smash. I knew that. So I was trying to get in the drawers. So I was willing to do whatever I could. You should have told me you loved yeah, me that's that. That's you that's got the drawers faster. Yeah. No, nah, but you're not that kind of guy. Though. I wasn't gonna do that because then. If it didn't work out, and then I was like, I need to go separate ways. I already told you I love you. Right. Then I'm gonna be a scumbag. Exactly. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Smart. Like, I can't Smart do that. Not yeah, I can't do that. My pops, my uncle told me better than that. <laughs> All right, Deval, who's better in the bedroom? You or Kadeem? Oh, uh, who's better in the bedroom? Shit. <laughs> uh oh. I would have to. I would have to say her. Yeah. Yeah. You need to step it up, sir. No, nah, I've been, been trying to be asking like, what I need to work on, but she'd be like, "No, you good." Nah, it's, it's definitely her. That's why we want to fuck all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why she's so good. That's why she's so good. Right now, y'all when it's good, it's great. You know what I'm saying? She be putting that thing on me too, and she got she do the, the double hand, the gawk gawk. The yeah. double, double, double hand, hand. okay. Yeah, yeah, listen, I learned that number. from Superhead. The swivel. Did you? <laughs> when Superhead did the porn with Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus, I seen it in college. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he was running from outside. <laughs> yes. yes. That's when, listen, I studied that. The double yes. hand gawk gawk. Studied that. How else do you perfect We call it the pepper grinder. The pepper grinder. There we did go. a video about her uh, grinding the pepper. I, I walked up on her in the, in the kitchen and I yeah. was just like, yo, what you doing? She's like, I'm grinding the pepper. So I was like, yo, let me see. And she was grinding it. I was just like, yeah, that's <laughs> that's nice. She was just like, get out of here, you mad nasty. Yeah, he rolled up on me when I was cooking. I was like, you always thinking about that shit. Yep. Look at you. Nice. Yep. He was like, more pepper. More pepper. <laughs> more more, more pepper. pepper. More more pepper. More pepper. All right. Now, what is your favorite, what is um, Kadeen's favorite move that you do in the bedroom? Uh, the edge of the bed, she throw that left leg up. It's doggy style. Mm. 
Back yeah. shots. <laughs> back I know that. Well, she, I know the minute the minute she went, then it's over. It's a wrap. It's a wrap for you. It's a wrap. It did be a wrap for me. The finisher. Like, I hit it with the, the Mr. Marcus. I do like three. I be like pat pat pat. Then I back up. Like gotta stretch my leg out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I gotta right. cramp. You know. Gotta take that breather. Yeah, I gotta take a breather. I reset a little bit. You know. Mm-hmm. Then I go back. Come back in. For the All kill. right. Well, answer this then. What is your le- what is her least favorite move that you do? Like that you do to her? When I put her legs all the way back. <laughs> oh she I love she hates that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't. I just other? know her because every time other? I do that, she splits. But why do you do yeah. it? Because I in college, he be watching too much See, porn. Look, she used that's that's what she said. She's not but she used to. She's not, and that's why she never was answer. In college, she used to, to do that shit. And it was all good. good. And it was all good. She used to. She used to come like the minute I do that, in college, she used to come like crazy. Now when I go to put legs, she be like ah. I'm like the I'll fuck. Like, ah, you need to stretch. I like, what the fuck? I know. Listen, I know. Right. I need yoga. to get some yoga. I would see. Yes. Yoga. I need some yoga. I, need, I know I can get it back. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get it of back. Course. I need to stretch. Your muscles have memory. I'm stretch them out a little bit and bring it right back. See? Mm-hmm. She, she hates knows. That shit. Oh, I know. Well, though, we seen you falling all over the place over the weekend. Girl. But I hit my headstand, though. Okay. <laughs> Drunk and all. So I had this vision. I'm going to show y'all the picture. Uh-huh. Not, I'm going to show y'all the, the inspiration. I had this vision of doing a recreation of this picture and then i had the bright eye bright drunk ass idea because we were in a house on mm-hmm. turks and caicos that had a private beach mm-hmm. um i had on a 3m bikini mm-hmm. so it was like glowing in a reflective light nice and i'm like i'm gonna do recreate this picture um on the beach with this glow in the dark bikini on but then I drank a full <laughs> bottle of Hennessy Privilege out of the bottle. Yikes. That's this picture. Not even the same day. I saw but that. Oh, I did that, right? Sis. And I died, right? But At I still moment. tried to do this headstand. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I made my sisters and whoever, everybody else that was with me come down. We were on live. And I made them come down to the <laughs> beach with me. And I attempted to get into this headstand. And it was just like the funniest thing in the world. I fell in the sand three times. Um, but you they got kept it trying though. to get me to stop. Like, no, just another day. Like, it's not going to happen. Just day. see here's the picture. Committed to it. Here's the picture that I was trying to recreate. You got it, right? Oh, so wow. here's the picture. With the hair and everything. Well, no, this is a dress. That's a dress. Oh, that's a dress. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I don't know if y'all if you could show it to the camera. Okay. So, so I didn't quite hit the picture. But I definitely hit the headstand. Okay, it was a little sloppy headstand. <laughs> but I did it. Sloppy head. At least you did the it, girl. It was a <laughs> sloppy head. Like a good morning. At least you did. Um, <laughs> sloppy head. <laughs> and then, so I hit the headstand, right? But the reason why there's not a picture of mm-hmm. the headstand and there's video instead, so it didn't happen. It's because when I hit the no, his video. When I hit the headstand, um, my cousin's like, wait, wait, let me get in a let me get in a picture. And then right before she took the picture, I fell. And then after I fell. I oh, threw yeah, I up. see the leg up. Oh, because you were upside down too. Yeah, oh, I see the leg up. I hit the, I hit the headstand, crossed you my legs it. and everything. Yes. And then I fell. So and then you threw um, up. after I fell, I threw up and they tried to take me into the house. And I'm like, no, just leave me here. I'll be okay. <laughs> and they put me on one of the beach chairs and one of my friends stayed with me. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning completely completely covered in sand oh like my this God. was look at me, completely look at covered in sand that's I'm talking about that's what I you had call sand dedication. up my nose I had sand in my ears and my belly button I still have sand in my hair which is why I still have this ponytail because <laughs> it's sand all up through my braids and my sewing child oh but when I tell you I had when I tell you I look the beach monster right <laughs> listen when I tell you that I had the time of my life this night it was See? so much fun memorable and I'm just was uh, Monday night and I'm just now recovering See, throwing today. up can be fun. oh my god no, yeah. 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 Fun time. So you got vomit but and you, you got, got sand all over the place. It's a marathon. You see that? I did it. I did. The marathon yeah. continues. It continues. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're here to talk about it. All right, Deval. The next one is um, who spends more money? Her. <laughs> mm-hmm. Easily, her yeah. American Express bill every do. month. Yes, he's she's dead. Dead. What's, what's your nickname for me? A Max Killer. <laughs> but then Angela killer. said I'm a hoarder because she said she was watching a video. You talking about me hoarding? You are a hoarder. Oh, though. It's not a hoarder. It's just I, I you have hoard and spend money. I don't get it. Yeah, she's That's, collecting you know, things. These things could be worth pieces. more later. It's yeah. an investment. We hope. There you go. We hope. There you go. All right, who's the giver and who's the taker in your relationship? I'm definitely the giver. She's a taker. Uh, I know you gotta work on that I do have to work on that (laughs) I give give I know we had this conversation like we did just have this conversation like yeah a couple days ago ago. I was feeling underappreciated I'm gonna tell you one thing I do 
I tell exactly how I'm feeling. I was talking to your man's outside, and I told her, like, part of the reason why it works is because I'm not a dude that feel like I got to be too fucking macho. Mm -hmm. It's like, no. Like, I wanted to see you yesterday, and you spent mad time with the kids. I ain't getting no pussy in mad long. Like, what's mm. up? Because the last thing I, I want is to feel, like, underappreciated and then we not see each other and then I be out and temptation catch me at the wrong time. Because I'm human like everybody else. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just tell my wife exactly how I'm feeling. Oh, you need to write a book And hopefully she it. could, you know. Yeah, he's like Your super, men need to learn how He's to, super transparent about the way he feels. Sometimes it's, like, painful to, to hear. Because right. I'm just like, damn, I'm Because you don't really want to like think that? about temptation things just because you haven't had sex in a while. Yeah, What's a exactly. long time? Shit. Two uh, days. Two days. Oh my god. Oh, oh, my god. Now. Two days. I feel. I feel like two days is uh, forever. Thank you. Two <laughs> days is god. forever. Y'all want to switch like places on the couch? Yeah. Yeah. Two days. Like, like what's today? Thursday. We have sex since Tuesday. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Bro. But she was with the Me kids. Too. Yeah. And, my, and in my mind, like Tuesday to Thursday, like I blinked and it's Thursday. So yes. I'm like, shit. Has it been two days already? Like I didn't even yes, realize I know it was two all days. Forty eight hours. He sure as hell does. Nigga be counting down. Like I'm like, bro. Do you want to just take care of himself? Huh? You don't tell him to just take care no. of himself. He why always I get married to jack my dick? Like, <laughs> why, like, why yeah. I be in the house and my wife's in the back seat and Yo, I'm jacking legit, my dick? Sometimes, especially when I was pregnant, I would be like, bro, you just got to take it yourself. And he'd right. go in the living room and do it and come back and be like, the shit didn't work. And I'm like, what didn't work? You didn't come? And he was like, nah, I did, but it, I'm still horny. And I'm like, how? Oh, you yeah. like, yeah. not you, not his hands. Exactly. Oh, well, why don't you? You never watched? Huh? You never watched him? I've watched him once or twice, but I feel like you get a little yeah, like I get you don't upset be because the fact, the fact that I'm jacking my dick and you here, I don't want you watching me now. And we don't so want you jacking. Can you imagine yeah. jacking your I've dick with an attitude? You know what I'm saying? That's what it's like. Jacking with an attitude, jacking your dick. JWA. With an attitude. No, you're like, uh. Right. And then it's like, especially when you're pregnant, I'm like, clean me up. Get the rag. Get the rag. And towards the end of pregnancy, too, it's like, you know, you get locked jaw after a while, your throat be all sore. Oh, my God. Just because it's like, man, like, dude, give me a break Everything and that's so annoying when guys crazy, try to like make you suck their dick for mad long and you're like dude like stop stalling <laughs> I think shit. he does that shit as punishment sometimes like you made me wait I, this I long. absolutely do not <laughs> you do that shit as punishment <laughs> I'm know. like y'all about to catch a nosebleed bro like no, come on I do not <laughs> catch a nosebleed I, I would never do that to you, you sometimes lie. you suck dick and you be like why did I even start this shit <laughs> Right, because I, gotta I, I, know, gotta I know when she's like that. I can all my, like when she's in the middle of sucking dick and she goes. Lazy. I'm like, I'm like, I just, be, I just be having to I'm catch like, my fuck. breath sometimes. No, sometimes, no, 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 sometimes no. the deep throw, I had to like, you know, breathe again, <laughs> catch it and go back. Arguments. Again. We have arguments while she's sucking my dick, <laughs> and then she'll like bite me, right? Uh, like, like we'll be like, we'll, and it won't yeah, be like I a hard a bite. Like, it will be hard bite. Like, 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 yeah, little nigga would be like, stop. I'll be like, yo, are you gonna are you gonna get it to your throat at any point during this whole session, <laughs> or are you just gonna keep your lips on the, on the head, like like That's you're the a freshman in high school? Or you just put the hand down here. Yeah. Like, like, then at that point, he proceeds to grab the back of my neck, and it's a wrap. Uh, yeah. Right. I'm like, I want to hear that gawk gawk. Speak the Hebrew on it. Ha 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 See, that's the same exact thing she said. You see what I mean? Well, I'll tell you, she said to her something she went to go walk oh, up on stage. Oh, I forgot about that. That was early on. I gave him something that was a little after, but that you can give him that funny story, She too. went to go walk up on stage, and she, <laughs> she, you know, we was having fun in college. She had gained about 20, 30 pounds. You know, we were doing our thing. We went to Fridays every Friday. <laughs> okay, Fridays on Because he was whining and dying over Fridays. I was whining. Right. So he could years get old. the buns. I was like, baby, baby, come on. You go get you, get you a three Get the Friday. Three. three for three. So um, <laughs> we were smashing a lot and eating, and she had gained some weight. I did. So she had on a, a, a slip. And it was like a slip pantyhose. dress with the overlay. No, no pantyhose. It was oh, no a pantyhose? slip dress with the okay. overlay. So she goes up to the pageant to give the girl a crown because she had won yeah, the crown the like, year before. Uh, yeah, it's like giving an award. And when she goes up, the slip had rolled up and it was just the dress overlay. And all you see is red thong. And ass. Ooh. And ass. On stage in front of like... <laughs> 400 people 400 people and there's not a lot of black girls in the pageants oh man and she's the only Jamaican one so she got a, a fat ass. ass and all you see is red thong mm, and, and ass. ass and the spotlight oh my wow. god and she's standing up there and, I'm and you didn't realize. Yeah. didn't realize and I'm like, looking like, up beautiful like congratulations exactly and I went and I did a whole turn and everything oh, she was cute she was doing her thing doing my thing <laughs> waving and whatnot. and nobody and was I, like oh. and literally my bro I saw my brother go like this oh <laughs> shit <laughs> And I didn't know he what was happening. Because he didn't want to see your ass in that red thong. I don't want to see that. And I seen a couple men like... 
they all do a clap and they look at and they nudge me each other. So I got off the stage and I was like, and my mother was Damn, like, you're dressed. Continue your dress. Yeah, my mom. Thank God it was an Instagram though. Oh if, my god, if it was, if it was at that point, social media would have torn me up. That was 2003. Good right? and bad. Yeah, it was 2003. Yeah, 2003. Good and bad. Good and bad. Yeah, it went viral, though. Uh, it would have right? been viral. Right, right. yeah. It would have been viral as fuck. Look, Katine told us a different story. I told him the story about when I peed on myself in the elevator after Jackson. Oh. Coming home from work. Yeah. yeah, but that wasn't early though. I know, I know. But that was like really all she could think That's of. That's all I could think yeah, of. Yeah, she could say, like, nothing embarrassing yeah. happened. Yeah. What about something Devout did that was embarrassing? That, that, that happened to me mm-hmm. <laughs> early in our relationship or recently. <laughs> yeah. I could tell you a funny story. Embarrassing shit happened all the time. Yeah, funny, which one funny, comes to my eye? <laughs> funny shit happened to me all the time. Um, I was thinking of you and the act- Detroit Lions story in the bathroom. Oh, that shit is crazy. All right, so <laughs> you gotta hear this one real quick. So I'm in, I'm in college, right? And I'm I'm not like a elite pro athlete, right? I'm I'm just a regular guy that's playing football, but I end up becoming all American, right? So it's all right. You can toot your own baby. You yeah. was bomb. No, but I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm five guy. ten, hundred. I'm, I'm He's five ten, one hundred and seventy five like, pounds. Like I don't look like the typical athlete, right? Mm-hmm. So the draft come and go. So does free agency. And the only team that was willing to bring me out for a workout was the Lions. So the Lions flies me out for a workout, and now it's hitting me that I'm about to work out for a pro team. So my stomach is like. Something's like killing me, right? So I'm on the plane, like shit. So now we get off the plane and they take us to the facility, and I'm like, all right, so they're gonna take so they, they know first you gotta fill out paperwork. You gotta I'm like, oh my god, my stomach, I'm about to lose it. So then they like, all right, you go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom, right? And you know how when you get close to using the bathroom, oh, we that's about when this. it starts coming, yep. right? So it's like turtle heading right now, and I'm like getting to the bathroom. <laughs> no. I go to put the toilet paper down, and then when I turn around to sit, the toilet paper falls in the toilet. Ooh. So, so now I turn back, back around. <laughs> when I turn back around to bend over to pick up the paper, the shit says, Swag out! Right. All against the door. Like it was just oh shot out like, God. right? Oh. So now I'm like, oh! So I'm like, damn, what I'm going to do? So then... I go to start to try to clean it up, and then I hear somebody come into the bathroom, oh, and they no. kicking in the door, kicking oh, in the door. So when they went in one store, I went into the next store. Like, I ran with the oh, next my store. God. Then I heard them open the door, and they like, yo, what the fuck? Oh, so my. then I come out the bathroom, I come out the store, and I'm like, yo, what happened? <laughs> and then, and then he was just like, he was just like, yo, look at this. I was like, yo, what the That's fuck? Nasty ass. Man, who did this shit, man? He was like, these fucking rookies. I was like, yeah, that shit nasty, man. I'm gonna go, who you want me to go get somebody? He was like, yeah. So I left, I washed my hands, went to the meeting room. I was like, mm. Wow. You got shit all over your ass and everything, though. Yeah, I don't, it was shit yeah, everywhere, bro. I, I don't even oh check. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was so Wait, embarrassing. Wait, tell me this That's story mortifying. after yeah, I that was mortifying. like, bro, that bro, is I even, gross. I thought my shit story was bad. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. What's your shit story? Everybody had bad shit stories, I'm sure. How I stepped in my own shit? Oh. Okay, so. Well, you had to cop a squat somewhere? I had on Tim's, right? Not the butters. Yes. Dead ass. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so this was this was years ago, like early 2000s. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> when I still lived in Philly in the early 2000s, I used to be like a promo model. So mm-hmm. we used to go like do cigarette stuff and, mm-hmm. and uh, alcohol stuff and, you know, like a Corona girl or whatever. Like I mm-hmm. do that type of stuff. So I'm at this smoke shop, like out in the suburbs somewhere. And stomach start to bubbling, uh-huh. and I gotta go. Yeah. But I'm like, I used to be a professional dancer, um, stripper, but before that, I was mm-hmm. like a ballerina. So I'm good to like squat and hold it up without mm-hmm. having to okay. sit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I do that move, but then I, I lose tip-tops. my balance. <laughs> And I lose my balance just as it's dropping. Oh. And it hit the floor and I land. Damn. Oh. Oh. Y'all got some amazing shit stories. <laughs> right? So I'm like, so I'm like oh Damn. shit, how am I going to clean this up? So I clean myself up and then I start looking around the bathroom. Luckily they had some 409. So I'm... Uh, uh, you can always count I'm the 409. With, t- with toilet paper. Not the Timbs. Out my Timbs. Oh, because the groove the is all in the I was in the I was in the bathroom for like an hour or longer cleaning up the bathroom, cleaning up myself. And Timbs have the bridges out. too. Like, yeah. Girl, yes. So yeah. I finally mm. comes out, and my the so girl good. that I'm working with, she like, "Are you okay?" And you know, she's like, "Were you sick or something?" And I just told her, "Like, girl, I just shit it and hit it hit the floor." And I had to clean it up. That's mad right. funny though. Yeah, she stepped I definitely in her own stepped shit. in you my own make shit. You can make that shit up. Yeah. No, I stepped you in my own you shit. Can't, you can't make you can't make that up. Steph, you have a shit story? I don't shit. Steph, don't shit. shit. I don't shit. I'm a girl. Girls don't shit. Oh, no, 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 was it that memorable? Yes. My first shit? <laughs> yes. I can't remember my yo, first shit. Yo, or making it real awkward. Talk, real talk, man. <laughs> like, when I first met Kadeen, like, the first couple months, 
She's going to the bathroom. It was like air. Like, I, yeah, I was like, yo, damn, she didn't shit. Nothing. Like, <laughs> smell nothing. That's what and then it was like after a couple months, we was in college. And this is when, when did I break my finger? Oh, February. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's February. I broke my finger, right? So I'm staying in her room. She went into the bathroom, came back out, and I went in right after her. Oh, we And I was like, happens. I was like, yo, yo, <laughs> who's in this bathroom? You There's other niggas in this room? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> was in this bathroom. Stink, yo. Yo, don't be talking about my insides like that, all right? <laughs> no, was, my amazing. insides feel very it's just bacon. It's bacon. Yo, it's bacon. Because yeah. 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 it was just using the air smell. And she was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, was you? I was like, listen, oh, bro, you were doing in my four walls now. Don't be talking about that. But didn't that make you feel shit. closer? No, no, no. <laughs> Not at all. I didn't feel closer at all. Because all that time, you like, does she shit? Right. So and then now did you I feel good to know, shit. like, that was like another, like, step in our relationship. Yeah. Like, now no. she shits. No, I started within contemplating. Within the vicinity. <laughs> so, but wait, so now that you guys are married for all of these years mm-hmm. and together with children, what is, like, the shit status now? Like, when it comes oh, to you in the bathroom. Oh, my God. Her. No, no, she coming Straight in. Straight asshole be open all the time. Like, whatever, you coming in? My kids be in there. I'll, one time, he was taking a shit. He's like, yo, come sit in my lap. Oh my god! Now, now like, this is seriously? the funny part. This is the, the guy's honest truth. When I was younger and I used to fart, she used to be like, "Oh, it's cute." Now if I fart, she's like, like "Get away from me, fuck? y'all!" I'm like, "Get away!" You gotta do that. So you really thought his farts were cute? You thought his farts were cute for real? In the beginning, In the beginning. I was just like, "Oh, you farted." Really 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 now she gets so disgusted. Like, oh my god! Did you have to do that? That's amazing. Stephanie, I can't wait till you till you shit and your man knows about it. Nah, um, he he knows when I go in the bathroom. I don't shit. He be like, "What are you doing in the bathroom if you're not shitting?" And I'll be like, "I'm talking to Jesus. I'm praying." <laughs> I'm like you're not together. supposed to interrupt me while he I'm knows, praying. Though. I know him. I know him for 17 years. But we oh, yeah? haven't been together for that long. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Would you take matches in there? I mean, we were, we've been on and off over the years, but you know, I had a relationship in between, and so did mm. he. And now we're back together now. Okay, good for y'all. Yeah. But you yeah. drop in, you, you like drop and flush. That's what she used to the do. The courtesy flush. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't do that. Do. I don't think that yeah. she be working. Though. I don't do that. But if I did, I would be dropping and flushing. Yeah. Well, you have to drop and flush, but you also have to like keep your legs closed and so the air the toilet, doesn't come right? out. Yeah. See, yeah, like bro, easy. With that. I just, remember, remember I have not DC? perfected that shit yet. Remember DC? What? She went to. She, <laughs> she's upstairs, right? <laughs> And she this went, is like literally like three weeks, three weeks ago. ago she's in the hotel room right? I go up before him and she goes up before me and then I come up and the bellman is coming out of the room the bellman is coming out of the room and I'm looking at him like I'm like you smell like shit in here man what the fuck so like, the was like I'm sorry I was like yeah, that was you in the bathroom and she Yo, was like yeah let me tell y'all I had to shit so bad that right? is so, so bad so I check in I race upstairs I'm like babe park the car whatever valet whatever I'm gonna go upstairs left me ran upstairs took a shit so first of all I'm mid shit and I hear a knock at the door so I'll be like oh and I'm thinking it's him totally forgetting about the bellman so I literally didn't even wipe or anything I just got up off the seat because the door was right there I went to open it and I saw it was the bellman and I was like oh my god give me a second so I went back in I wiped so you know he smelled everything yo and homeboy walked right in and I saw him like like, no, <laughs> like door, bathroom. It was literally it was right like there. Door, there was like no right mistake here. in it. I'd have been like, you can leave it in the hall. I'll grab it. Yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah, I know. I'm going to meet you down the hall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to just roll my bag. And they're going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm so then he came it. in like five minutes later. And he was like, yo, yeah. Yeah, we got to switch rooms. This room's no funny. I was like, it's me. Now the bill man know my wife ass smells shitty, bro. Now every time we go downstairs, the bill man looking at me. But I tell you, shit probably smell worse than hers. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be. Ooh. I don't know. Especially on this little diet he on. Forget it. Yeah, this keto, keto diet. diet. This keto diet got me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All that bacon and meat and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Eggs. Yeah, that. Um, all that will make it shit. It's eggs. mad protein. Eggs. It's mad protein. Tuna fish. Right. Oh Mm-mm. God, I hate this subject. Can get we you move a on? <laughs> <laughs> Especially for someone who doesn't do it ever. Yo, know, your kids tell you too when your shit stink. Like you be in the bathroom, they'll walk by the door. The door be closed. So he has. Oh, daddy. <laughs> you do. We smell it outside. I'm like, shut what is this keto diet over? Oh, for real, my tail be like, amazing. daddy stink. I'm like, everybody shut the hell up. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that just happened recently in the press, right? Willow mm-hmm. Smith on Red Table Talk was talking about porn, and she was saying she likes artistic looking porn, and so now an adult film star Brie Mills wants Willow Smith to direct a porn, and so how old is she? 
She's of age. I mean, she's on. She was talking about watching porn and everything oh, with her okay. mom and her grandmother. Right. She was so like eighteen. I'm gonna miss this episode. No, I'm <laughs> no. catch up. If you had the opportunity to direct a porn, what would it be? What would the plot be? What would your treatment be? Oh, I, I already know what I want to see. What cheerleader, <laughs> football player. <laughs> so <if> she <laughs> does that. That's my favorite. Company. Yeah, that's what you guys. <laughs> Like, you she know, is like, oh, she's she like, is like your sex spirit animal. animal. She she is. Is. You are my What's sex spirit animal. I'm Aries. Oh, Aries. Sex spirit. And I'm, I'm dead ass thinking I'm like, my best friend of the Aries. Football player Yo, this, comes this out of the game. This dude had me squeezing <laughs> into my like, skirt. But, I, you know, I like, and she's like a cheater. She's like, guys, don't tell anybody I was here. <laughs> and then the she's like sucking mad dick. First of all, I love getting my dick sucked, so that's great. She just mentioned the like train. <laughs> what do I like for you to, to wear? Oh, like a schoolgirl outfit. Or cheerleader. Cheerleader outfit. He literally yeah, had me put shit. on my, 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 my uniform from high school, <laughs> high school days. Come on, I did right? a video about yeah. it, didn't yeah. we? Did I think we that's recently did a video start. about it. Yeah, I mean, that shit was up here because my waist got a little bigger and my ass is bigger. So <laughs> it, it was cute. Right. Right. You can give a shit. You can give a shit. You can give a shit. Then me trying to take that shit over. I take it off. It was a it was a whole Yeah, I would probably do like a. I like the school scenario, mm-hmm. like like you know, schoolgirl of age, schoolgirl though. I'm naughty trying, girl. Uh, yeah, like a little height. You know, it could be college and the professor situation oh, on the okay. desk. Oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. You know, not like the typical bed situation. Oh, like I like furniture, but not the bed. Okay, you know, up against the bookcase. You guys down the chalkboard. Mm-hmm. You see me thinking right now. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he in deep thought. I need, I need like, all this eh. energy when we get home. <laughs> have you guys album. ever filmed anything together like Absolutely. for your own pleasure? Yeah, Absolutely. we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not recently. Maybe we should reintroduce there that you because go. you know we we've been thinking that. of ways Ships to make up in the cloud. I then know. you get famous. Mm-hmm. Then but where them tapes at? On on. We gotta make sure we know where them tapes are at. and They're safe. Uh-oh. I don't know where them tapes are. Oh, Jesus. Since Here coming. we go. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but yeah, we should do that because we've been looking for ways to kind of like, you know, reinvent, spice mm-hmm. things up. Like after yeah, 17 years with dope. the same person, it's like, Bro, I know, I know. She role play in his cute so, putting on the uniform. That's a little role play. I got yeah. a big for that though. He That's asked cute. me all the time. He was like, "You dress up, you dress up." I'm like, oh. do you put your time on little kids? I ask her what she want me to put on. Mm-hmm. I ask her. I like him in a suit. Tell you, let me tell I like him in an actual suit. Though. I ask all of these damn questions. <laughs> I don't get no answers. I'm glad that we're here. So now yeah. that we can air some therapy session. I've actually thought about sex therapy for us too. So this actually probably might work. I think this is sex therapy. Yeah. Sex, sex therapy. Sex therapy. We're gonna exactly have to do a touch base. Y'all gonna have to have us back in a couple yeah, months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're gonna give you all homework. I'm you with know, it. Right. for real. I'm with for real. It. Yeah. You said you like suits. I'll put I like, my suit on you tonight. Put a, full, a, full, a full suit tie and three, everything. Three piece. <laughs> three piece. Three piece. Everything. Three piece. Cuff links and the shoes. That's cumberbund. That's a tuxedo. I'll do all that. I'll do all that. There you go. So y'all gonna have like a cute prom scenario. A prom porn. That would be cute. Prom porn. Prom night. Look at that. But my dress will be scandalous though because these girls going to prom <laughs> nowadays you ever seen them dresses Listen, yeah, dresses these dresses little are like 16 and 17 year olds I'm like okay. y'all are grown grown see I'm gonna get one of them they my daughter grown is not wearing dress. none of that he be talking about this hypothetical daughter we don't have that we not having. So on the way after this prom, you could borrow somebody else. Right after this prom, on the way. We gonna do a recap. Like, uh, I'm pregnant. It's a girl, right? Yep. We'll exactly come here to make the announcement if it happens. Yay. All right. So, Gigi, what would you if you had to direct a porn? What would your plot be? Girl, a uh, orgy. Okay. Mm-hmm. You already know we need multiple participants. Is it a bisexual orgy? Like guys doing guys Ooh. too. I could direct that. I couldn't be in it though. No, no, no. Oh, I could direct it. it. You're not in it. Hey, I could direct that. Why couldn't you be in it? Because I don't want to be in the mix with a guy and another guy and they doing stuff. <laughs> I'm I'll watch your face. <laughs> I watch it. Ooh. But like the guys doing stuff to you though. To the guys doing stuff to the guys though. Oh. And you. Yeah. No. But you and me. No. And also, yeah, you can't you. go from no. anal to vaginal. I'm not into no, bisexual a whole porn. Wait, yeah. I'll, I'll di- I could direct a bisexual porn orgy yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. What would it be called? Um. Hmm. <laughs> All for one and one for all. <laughs> that's actually that's not actually, that's actually Willow. Willow. Here's, your creative, right here. Willow. Here's actually your creative team right here, Willow. Here's your creative team. So make sure you hit us up, Willow. Yeah. You, you know. have a great relationship with Bane, bro. I watch a lot of porn. What about you, Steph? So you would, you would do the cheerleader? Yeah, definitely cheerleader with like a bunch of big football players. Yes. They're like, yeah, don't worry, baby. We're not, with some big we're not gonna dicks. tell. We're not I've gonna tell that. anybody you were here. We mm-hmm. don't want you to get kicked out of school, I've girl. Seen that too. Right. You know, <laughs> <I'm just laughs> yeah, it's like my favorite board. Uh, <laughs> <I'm> favorite <laughs> board. She's just like, hey, I'm lost. 
lost? Where? where I'm trying to get to class. Like, mm-hmm. like, oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> She's doing the gop gop. Yeah, the minute she just walks like I'm lost, and it's like we can help you. <laughs> Are you lost? <laughs> yeah. We can oh help you god. find your way. Yeah, she's randomly and lost. And that in book, she's she's getting and boom, dicks, dicks everywhere. And dicks everywhere. Dicks everywhere. Dicks in every hole. 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 Dicks Yes. I like to dance. And then sometimes I'm going through, like, we got to stop. I don't like this song. So I'm right. like, shuffle, 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 shuffle. like, this song is just cramping my style. It's like, my whole ride is on. He's like, hold up. I'm, right. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want shuffle. I have to have, like, a whole storyboard for the routine <laughs> yeah. in my playlist. So, yeah, definitely. I think music makes it better. Who talks crazier in the bedroom? Me. <laughs> Clearly, right? Me. <laughs>
it should be a prerequisite to have people's passwords. I think it should be a choice of whether y'all going to share passwords. So when and did that choice happen? Like for you to say, okay. Now for me, I never, I never hid my password from her. She always could have access to yeah, my stuff. Yeah, we both have never hid because passwords. I never, it was like a mutual trust thing that I've broken right. like a couple times. <laughs> and for me, I never really wanted to be a liar or a cheater. Even though I've had my moments where I've cheated, but I've always just wanted to tell her, like, yo, I really feel like I need to be do my thing a little bit. Mm-hmm. Because I just hate feeling like I, I'm a prisoner in my own home. Like, I hate feeling like, oh, shit, let me, you know, she may be coming out the shower. So I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? When we were in college, we had some times like, yo, I need to go on a break. Why? Because we're not vibing sexually. I'm 19 years old. I think I, I need to do some other things. Mm-hmm. So since we had that transparency and we talked about going on a break, stuff like that, I never really felt like, I hadn't necessarily hide my passwords and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But um, I do feel like if you go into somebody's phone, you break into the phone, that's an invasion of privacy. Like, you should not do that. Right. I agree with I, that. You I, shouldn't. I, have you ever looked at her phone? See, no. I didn't. Never, not once, like, just... No, I haven't. No, he, I, I've mm-hmm. never... No. I mean, he's not going to find nothing because, you know, I'm a good girl. I did find one <laughs> but, thing one um, time, though. You didn't look, you said. I remember when you had the well, the phone was open. Oh yeah, the phone was open. The yeah. phone was open. We had an issue where I was like texting somebody inappropriately yeah. and he found it. <laughs> and I found it. He found it and I was honest, I had to confront, you know, upfront about it. So and, and it wasn't even I looked at her phone. She had she was I was looking for a, a actually a song to play. And I had Google, I put in the search uh, Take You Down oh. from Chris Brown. <laughs> and then Text messages popped up that said "take you down" Ooh. between oh, her and another wow. dude. Oh my god! No, it wasn't take me down. It was something else. Take it was like kiss, kiss, down. or something. It was something crazy. <laughs> it was something like that's kiss. That's my song too. That's kiss my song too. Yeah, yeah, it, it used to like be. Kiss. But there right, were like messages that were like deleted from my phone, but and then I, you know, iPhone be saving every goddamn uh, thing yeah. somewhere. Somebody cloud. Damn, made you so, hot. I'm yeah, and I was like, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Right, like, yeah. well, like, what, what the fuck is this? And she was just like, oh, well, we was going through whatever. And that's another thing we've been very transparent. When I was going through my shit and she was going through her shit, it was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Let's you just talk about it. All it. Out. And then you got to be honest as a man, too. Like, yeah, I was I was kind of distant. I'm mm-hmm. not really surprised that you were having inappropriate conversations because I was being an asshole. So, you well, know, you're so we, understanding. That. People always want to know how do you recover in a relationship from cheating? Because for some people, it is hard. Like, we keep on asking the questions over and over again. We want to know details. You think it's necessary to know details if someone cheats on you? Like I did. I wanted to know details. Yeah, and vice versa. I, I feel like I needed to paint that picture in my mind, and though it never left my mind after a while, it did. But, you know, I feel like I just needed to know for my own sanity, because if not, I was going to keep wondering about what had happened mm. or what possibly happened, mm. you know? So I needed to know details, and he did too. For me, I wanted to know how far it had gotten, because I need to know where you know where did I mess up. For me, it was about self-reflection. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, if my girl went this far, my girl did this, why did she do that? And if this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with, how can I prevent that from happening again? again? Mm-hmm. If I'm on some like, I don't want to know, fuck it, then I'm really not trying to grow. Mm-hmm. Because realistically, when you're with somebody and you know someone's trying to be with you, then you have to know that if they did something outside of the norm, it had to be something that you did. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's not something you did, she going through something that we need to discuss that and make a decision if we're not going to be together, if we're going to be together. Yeah. So for me, it was like, I need to get all this information. So I could find out what I want to do. And we made choices to stay together. And Yeah, I think know. it's always a choice involved because mm-hmm. people ask about how you get past, you know, infidelities or how you get past those moments where you're not necessarily honest with each other. But I think giving each other the choice to decide that you want to be there and not making it a thing where you're putting up this facade or you're lying and then people are trying to stay till we get together under these, you know, false notions of what's really happening. Um, that's why yeah. we really try to be as transparent as possible. Like, this is about to break his heart, but I have to tell him what exactly happened and vice versa. Mm-hmm. And I think I that's the easiest way to get now I was like, oh, 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 I'm like, yeah, let me divulge this right and now. I, when there's people honest, in the room, so let's the blow. I will be honest though, you don't ever just get over it and never ever remember. Mm-hmm. You no. have days where shit come up and you just be like, fuck. Can't believe she did that shit. Like you just be mad. Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's just some days it's bad or something will happen and. Like, like, for example, she hates calling me when she gets places. Like, she's just not responsible like that. She'll be on an Uber, going to an event, and I'll be like, yo, I told you to text me to make sure you're safe. 
And then she don't text me. And they're like, was you fucking texting people, huh? And uh, I hung up the phone, right? Yeah, <laughs> but you was texting homeboy. You was like, texting right. old boy, though, when kiss, he was getting the train. Kiss, 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 You know what I'm saying? You can text him, but you can't text me you got there. I'm like, damn, this man is seven years later. And I'm like, that's seven years later. That's seven years later. On your part, too, when you decide to forgive somebody and stay with them, to like check yourself sometimes when you want to ask a million questions. Yeah. And when you're feeling a certain way, sometimes it's more like, you instead of flipping out on somebody yeah. and asking over, you have to sometimes say, "Okay, I said I was gonna stay. I need to at least make that effort and not give someone a That's hard true. time." It's mad true. It's mm-hmm. so true. It's, sure it's not easy. It's, it's, it's not. True. No, every day is a work in progress. I think with us too, and even at the seventeen years, I think it's that much. It's easier and it's harder at the same time because we don't we, we get each other more mm-hmm. now, um, and we have so much more invested at this point too. You know, we have three children. It's not the easiest thing to walk away from, but yeah, definitely sure. trying to be um, as honest as possible. Some people feel like cheating can make their relationship stronger. I and getting like past it. I feel Who like people. If they can get past. <laughs> Who people? <laughs> Some people don't know that because look, sometimes you like take somebody for granted, and then when you realize that you could have lost everything because you cheated, or you go oh, and yeah, leave I that, see that, I can and you like can leave the household all. and find that things are not better because sometimes yeah. we think that a different situation than what we're in could be better, and it makes you realize that you really want what you have. Yeah. I I, see that I, I, yeah. that had happened with one of your friends I won't say his name but um, <laughs> <laughs> that happened where his he had cheated and his wife found out and they got past it because she was like wow I really was just like completely ignoring they you they both had re- like reflection like they, yeah. he cheated and then she like looked at herself in the middle and was like damn like I can't even blame I, him we didn't have sex in this long I didn't do this I'm never this and she was like damn like how could I be mm-hmm. mad like you're a good dude and then him leaving and him being out there, realizing that there was nobody out there like right. his wife. It's he was just like, here. Yeah, he was just like, yo, let's make it work. So both of them had reflection off of that. Right. Now, that don't mean you just I go out say, and cheat. I was saying, we are encouraging right. cheat all the time. No, but I'm like, saying, but the thing it is happens. that it can either break your relationship or you yeah. can have it make it stronger. Right, yeah. right. And so it Definitely. could go either way. You don't really know no, you until don't know. you get through it or exactly. don't get through it. Or you don't even know how you're going to deal with it. Everybody deals with it differently. Mm-hmm. Right. Some people know? are like, okay, it's not a deal breaker. Some people are like, never again in life. True. Yep. And you're not wrong either way. Absolutely. What do you ladies think about cheating? Good thing I had that lady that I won't be peeing on myself. On my <laughs> 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 you need some no, no. Um, I think that cheating is very bad. Mm-hmm. And I think that it just shouldn't be done. Mm-hmm. Um, ever. Period. Ever. Period. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, um, you know, shit happens. And like Angela said, each relationship in each person and each situation is different. And if you choose to stay or work it out or whatever, then, you know, mm-hmm. so be it. Um, me personally, I've been with the same person now for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, we've broken up and gotten back together. And um, there has been infidelity. So clearly we've been able to work it out. Mm-hmm. Um, but does it feel stronger now than it ever did before? At this moment, yes. There you go. See, now, I've heard people ask about, like, breaks. Do people take these breaks because they want to go out and experience somebody else? Well, see, we just broke up. was it not? Like, when we were on break, we were just, like, a total It wasn't like, I need a break. It was more like, It was just like, it's fuck you, it's over. (laughs) Okay. Because we had our our couple of moments like that where it was like, fuck you, and then it's like, whatever happens at that time, it happens. The two most... You know, the time, the long length of breakups that we had it happened twice when I actually like moved out of our house. Mm-hmm. Um, the first time I was out of the house for eight months, but within like three months we were back together. So that was like a little weird. It was like the fakest breakup I remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the second mm-hmm. time was real. The second time I was going for a year and a half and wow. we were still in between that year and a half. Like I moved out um, and before my mattress was on the bed frame we was fucking on the floor on the mattress so mm. that's true right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like I heard that story before yeah. Yeah. as a matter of fact when I, when I left the first time we we didn't we were like um, we were sleeping in separate rooms mm-hmm. and for like four months and then so of course we weren't having any sex and before I pulled off in my U-Haul the very first time I moved out before I pulled off in my U-Haul we fucked in the bathroom so it was just like it was right before you about to go like don't you leave and let me get this Mm-hmm. Well, what about you, Steph? What's your thoughts on cheating? Well, I have, um, I feel like this. I feel like if a girl cheats, she's damaged goods. It's it's no good no more. 
But mm-hmm. a guy is a little stupider than a woman, you know what I mean? So sometimes you have to forgive him a little bit. So you're a number two. No, always. <laughs> you're so you're saying, always. So you're saying a guy can't take a girl back after cheating? And not, I mean, not. I don't mind saying because everybody's situation is different, you know, but I just feel like... You know, for a woman to cheat, there's a lot more emotions involved. You know what I that. mean? Mm-hmm. Like we we're cheating. We're not cheating because we want to get fucked and we're horny. Right. Like a man a would. Man a right. man cheats because he wants exactly. A man is missing. Right. It's, so it's a not, woman cheats it's not because he's not feeling thing. loved in his heart. It could be also that though. It could be, yeah. but most of the time, a man is cheating because his dick is hard. That's that, and yo, that's stupid. And there's new pussy running around. That's so not, it's that's like, not stupid. Exactly. I'm the only one here. I'm not. I'm only one here. Represent. Okay. Represent, so represent for the men. For how men think. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> women want monogamy, right? Women want monogamy. Do you know how hard it is for a man to try to be monogamous to a woman, and then when he's ready to have sex, the woman act like he's being like he like she's bothering him. Think about how that feels for a man. Right. Ex- you want mo- you want monogamy from me. So I'm trying to be monogamous, but then when I ask you for sex, you act like I'm bothering you. Mm-hmm. Then when I don't that's ask horrible. for sex, that feels you know what I'm mm-hmm. like, that, that's But that's yeah. what men go through, especially when you're in relations for a long time. There's a lot of women who just like, oh my God, you want to have sex again? It's like, yo, I'm trying to be everything to you and only give you this. This is what I need. And then you act like it's a bother. And then when you have sex, it's like, fine, here, take it. So now we have it's whack like, sex when we have sex right. or you don't want to have sex and you expect me to live like, like that. that. Mm-hmm. So then so then dude's like, you know what? I can't keep saying it because I don't want to bother her. So let me just go try to get it so I don't have to bother her. Then he get caught. Now he the bad guy. What the fuck how he got there though? But that's what I'm saying with guys, do you guys and then men, you have you have to release the semen. Men have to. Like we don't have to come. Girls don't have to come. We're right. good if we don't come. I'm but good, I but men I still have need to, to release their semen. They have to. Yeah. They get sick if, if they don't release it. it. <laughs> they yeah. get sick. Like he told you that. Let me Google it. They get sick. Men get sick if they don't release it's semen. No, like she meant if you no, have the sex blue blue and you don't nut. Yeah, like oh, even, you talking about blue balls. Blue balls. Yes, right. even yeah, yeah. that. Okay. Even if a man like guys on Ramadan, they have to fast. They can't jerk off. They can't have sex. They can't. Release. The How sperm. long is that for? It's, it's for like a month. Thirty days. Oh. It's for a month. So imagine as a man not being able to release a nut for, for a, a month. whole month. I might die. If you're gonna get sick. You're not gonna I die. You're gonna get sick. Angela, I might That's die. what I'm saying. No. If those die. who celebrate no. Ramadan you can you do it, you can do it. You can do it. About thirty days. No, but what happens is they'll end up having a wet dream. You know, they'll wake up with the cum on their underwear. No, that's very true. Yeah, that's what will happen. But it's not a good feeling for a man. Like, when's the last time you had a wet dream? We're talking about a sacrifice. To God, like this is a <laughs> sacrifice to God. This is my wet dream. <laughs> no, listen. You better. No, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> you better. I'm just saying though, like men don't talk about this because it sounds real weak, but it's the truth though, yo. When you're trying to be everything for a woman, and then you're trying to have sex with her, and she's saying she's not in a mood, and then when she is in a mood, she give you some half-ass booty just mm. to shut you up. That should be whack to us, like. Like I'm trying to be monogamous with you, and you making it seem like it's a big, a big chore. Like nobody want to deal with you that. You know what's whack to us though? When guys want to have sex, but they don't want to like eat the pussy, put in some effort. They I, I sometimes guys want to like, eat it up. like get me that. in the mood a little bit. Right. I can see that. I can see they that. Because that sometimes it in. they think they could just hey and come hey, up behind you and stick it in, and you're like, <laughs> oh, oh, babe, right. what they say is you? Hey, 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 well, that's like how you be walking up behind me when I'm washing the dishes. He just walking up and it be hard. I'm I like, how did you get here? I'm like, hey, first of all, right. first of all, the happen? kids are still up and running around. How did you even mentally be able to get there? Do you know what it's like to walk by and see a woman washing dishes with Looking some little shorts? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Just see it like, yeah. Yeah. Let me just put this on her lap real quick. Now you feel like, like look, it's going to it's going to be waiting for you. Exactly. And I'm not gonna lie, like, like like I said in the morning when we're at home like I'm I'm the one like come on come on let's let's go let's do it let's do it but then when we're outside he's like babe like I'll be doing something he's like babe that mouth it reminded me a lot and I'll be like ew you mad perverted like we're outside right? but you love it yeah, nah. but you love you it because you know you it. want it like yeah. so perverted it's hard so man. girls we're, we're fickle women are fickle man. Yeah. we need it's a little something something by nature here. we have to get wet Yes. And that takes a little effort. That takes some effort. We had that conversation in college that, one yes, time. She did. Um, I was like, bro, you just can't be practice. bang, bang, bang. Like, yeah, all this testosterone practice. raging because yeah, he just came back practice. from workouts. And right. I'm like, bro, can you, like, lay me down? Yeah, I'm, and I'm a lady. Like, take can I put minutes, my head like, on this <laughs> pillow and relax? Right, right, right. And just relax. You know? 
Tony, we Tony, had Tony. that conversation. I had to, you know, I had to adjust. Know, right. I was, I was <laughs> nineteen. But you know what I've done sometimes? Like sometimes I don't even know if he knows this, but Uh-oh. you gonna know now. What I do sometimes because sometimes I come to you, you be like, "Yo, you mad wet? Like you soaking?" I'll I just like know. go watch porn or something or play with myself in the like, yeah, bathroom separately too. to I get myself know. already started, so that way I can just I know he wants to just like go for it. So I'm yes. like, I'm ready, I'm ready. Well, let me tell you something. I know that you do that, so that's why I'm <laughs> outside that I the know room that you know. waiting for. Like, like, oh, I know what she's doing. Because if I come in, I gotta stop. So I'm gonna be like, let me just stay out here. Let me put the kids to sleep. Back in my single day. See, that was always something that I would do. When I knew that I was going to have sex with a guy for the first Masturbate. time, yeah. I would masturbate first, first and just go with the pussy already. He'd be like, damn, pussy See, wet all right. the time. <laughs> I was just thinking about you, baby, on the way mm-hmm. here, and that's mm-hmm. what happened. You know, men do that too, though. I was just anticipating mm-hmm. get the first one out. So yeah, you don't get the first one yeah. out, and it's the first time you with a chick, and you get about five, six pumps. I tell Unless that, you and want something about marriage. Hennessy, and that shit is terrible. <laughs> but if she has her um, vagina tightened, then it's over for you. Oh, nah, if it's on the second round, though, if it's on the second round, like, like I'm gone. <laughs> you, you, I'm going from the, it don't even because the it's, numb. it's numb at that point. Then it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be yeah. so funny too because sometimes we be going at it and then he'd be like, yo, after I bust this nut, we gonna do it again and you gonna get it hard again. And then after that nut is bust, he's like, sleep. Yeah, sleep. They go to sleep. And I'd be like, thank God, I can roll over and go to bed now because yeah, nobody wanted around two. Not nobody yo, wanted around two. We're good. I'll be, th- I be thinking about the next time we have sex while we have sex. <laughs> So Damn, you be, you be playing the pitch in your head like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I do that crazy. Yeah, because so, I'll be like, I'll be like, Damn, I'm about to nut, but I really wanted to flip her over. But so I'm gonna say next time. Next time I'm gonna flip her over, <laughs> and then I be saying to her right before I'm about to nut, I say, You about to make me come? You gonna you gonna suck and get it back up again, right? And she be like, Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. As soon as that shit come out, all right, late. She be like, Take the gym in the morning. I go get the wash rag, you know, wipe him up, all that good stuff. Should be the best. Any other kids ever? The kids come and get the wash rag or. See the rock wash oh, rag no. on the counter. What's this? Yeah. Yo, oh, that's Jackson. No. Daddy, why is this I'll be over having here? to make hey, sure. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's to the point that I'll be so tired. Sometimes I just take the wash rag Wait, and I'll just throw it over the headboard. Jackson's and I'll be like, well, I'll get it in the oh, morning. Okay. Yeah. Ten years from now, he's going to be like, oh, so that's what, so that's what that rag was. <laughs> yeah, oh, that my rag. mom is nasty. <laughs> He'd be like, ew, I touched it. I touched it. I touched it. I remember when you touched your parents' rag. That was my sister. Oh, oh, that's even worse. Has a rag. Yes, my sister found my mom's rag with like her vibrator dildo situation. Oh my accidentally. god! Accidentally, um, yeah, man. it's electric. Wow. Sorry, no, it's electric. It's electric. It's slide, baby. Slide. You can be. Now here's the last thing boogie, I want to ask boogie. you guys about. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So I was reading this article about Moby. Right? He has a memoir out, and in his memoir, he talks about having had a relationship with Natalie Portman. His uh, book is called Then It Fell Apart. So he's saying that when she was 20 years old and he was 33, he dated her briefly. She's saying it never happened and that really she was 18 and he was just a perv. Mm. Okay, so uh, Mm. he did say, Natalie's possible regret in dating me doesn't alter the actual facts of our brief romantic history. Is there something wrong with somebody telling who they dated when they do a memoir and not giving that person a heads up, or maybe it's something that was, happened so long ago you don't want it brought back up. Um, I, I do think there's something wrong with that because you always have to ask for someone's permission to use their likeness in any other business, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're going to use my likeness as in my name to sell, to sell, right? First of all, I should receive a portion of that. That's, that's business number one. Number two is you should ask my permission just because that's our story. That's not just your story. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no other part of business where you can use someone's name or likeness without them getting a percentage or getting permission. But in a or documentary, can't you do that? Like, in nah. a document, can't you do a documentary about someone even if they don't? You have to get waivers. They have to sign waivers and sign releases mm-hmm. in order to do all of that stuff. And we learned that in TV. Like, when I do stuff at the gym now, if I do an advertisement at the gym, any kid or Adult that's in the background, I gotta give him a waiver. Or mm-hmm. you can blur them out. Or else you gotta blur, mm-hmm. or or you gotta blur, blur them out. out. Right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. actually, when that's the case, he should blur her name out. Well, I mean, couldn't he give her an alias? Like, in this place? I guess it's his memoir. Because he was trying to, he was trying, trying to, to make some money. He canceled his whole book tour. He got a lot of backlash from that. Because it's illegal. He can, he can, she can sue him for that. Unless it's true, you can't really. So, in a book, if it's true. No, well, yeah. If the story's true? If the story's true, she can't sue him. Because think about Superhead did a whole book. True. True. Where she named all kinds of people and no one sued her. Like, she was fine. Well, she was also naming men. Yeah. And dudes really don't care about stuff yeah, like that. Gonna call the cops. They're not, yeah, they're not going to call the cops. They're not, yeah. They're not going to call the cops. Have you ever denied somebody like a- that you've been with and been like, no, I didn't? No. 
I think I've been pretty upfront. Although I wonder how I've heard of people who said they were with me and I was like, who are you? <laughs> yeah. Like, who are you? Or no, we weren't. You know what I mean? Like, you've had that situation too. Yeah, but I'm, I'm like, I don't care. All right. You said we were together. All right. What we do? <laughs> but like, what do we like? That just don't matter to me. Right. Like, so if you end up in things, somebody's memoir, then. Certain things I don't really. <laughs> well, what happens then? They don't have to prove it. They gonna have to prove it. Right. Like certain things just don't. I don't let it bother me. Yeah. That would. That would. If someone was about to go on a book tour about with lies about shit that they <laughs> that said I did. Right. I was. I was with Deval while he was with Kadeen. I used to sit on his face. Then I'm like, she'd be like, like, be like, like oh, that's true. He I, made me sit on his face. Too many correlations. He had me in a chair trying to put both my legs back. Damn. You was I drinking? Okay, that might be true. So you know we didn't um. Send Kadeen out the room and ask them his question. I know, but you know what? We ended up having a whole conversation, and I feel like they kind of discussed both sides. Okay, that's true. We did. So I just let it slide. But I just didn't want to get cursed out in the comments. You know how our listeners, they listen to every little detail. So Uh, so you didn't do this. Right. Right. So we'll say that for the next time. But But that was cool. I'm glad you guys came through, and congrats on the new podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you. We totally look to you for inspiration sometimes, and you know, you've just been doing it for so long. So we from Brooklyn. Thank you for being a voice. We from Brooklyn, you know. I, I ain't gonna lie, so. I listened to y'all podcast before when I was, me and my boys listened to it. Yeah. Y'all you learned anything? Yes. <laughs> we nasty? Y'all nasty. Uh, we ain't really get too nasty yeah. today. No, y'all didn't get too we nasty did. today. I think I feel like y'all was kind of trying to be respectful because yeah, you we guys married. Yeah, married. Right. Yeah. But I, I have listened to y'all podcast before, me and my guys. <laughs> and you learn, listen, the only way you can learn about women is mm-hmm. from women. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is so true. So we've listened and been like, that's what they like. You know what? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try that shit. Mm-hmm. And this shit does work. And it's interesting for us because you guys <laughs> put so much of your lives out there already. Right. So we don't want to be like repetitive and do no, it. No, absolutely. Yeah. You want to hear but then we also know it. sometimes there's new audiences. So we want to make sure right. people have the backstory and know. No, mm-hmm. But I, I do feel like this platform is different because we don't speak to this level about our relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, certain things are only appropriate in certain arenas. Right. For certain settings. The people who are listening to this are listening for that for intimate, for that. sexual, yeah. you know expecting. what I'm saying? And we appreciate you trying to be respectful of our yeah, marriage. Yeah, yeah, but at definitely. the same time, too, I feel like there's this stigma around marriage, people, and sex. Like, it don't exist. Like, it oh, don't it happen. Exist. Like, right. it, better, it exists. It better exist. It needs to exist. It needs to exist. It needs to exist. You know, like, I'll put up a cute little video on Instagram or whatever. It's funny, because I put up a video the other day on my stories. Yeah. And, you know, I had on, like, a two-piece little, like, panty and bra set for Savage. X Fenty or whatever so I'm doing a little thing put my music up on it you know like we do on Instagram and somebody DM'd him the video and was like you see your wife you see what she oh, doing what the <laughs> and that I was like snitch. you telling on me and snitch. I was like yeah. nigga he picked the song like what you mean like, he, 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 he was the was one checking my angle he, he like, chose the filter right exactly I'm like we married we not dead like we're still human beings we still should be sexy we should be sexy for each other sexy as individuals and all that so we're always gonna be an advocate for that so amen yeah. all right yes. perfect we love it no, yes. we appreciate we y'all. Love thank, it. thank you so, so much, much. Guys. thank, thank you, so you thank much, you y'all. we appreciate y'all Yay. yeah oh last question are you mm-hmm. a swallower or a spitter <laughs> depends on how much I, cum I'm is a, coming oh, out they, I mean, say that. <laughs> sometimes he be on overload and i'm just like oh god <laughs> keto but he likes to, he likes to spit <laughs> don't it? yeah it might be a little bitter at that time yeah, so it depends it nasty. and then he kind of likes the whole like drool down my breast situation so that should be nice sometimes be nice. so um nice. not to interrupt you guys but I, uh, here's another thing i don't want to forget that we are having a live show. Oh, yes. June, June 19th. 19th. Okay. So we are going to do oh, lip service live. live. I was oh, going to say. At Sony Hall. Yeah. Yeah. If you New guys Yorkers, are here, come we would love for you to come join us. Of course. Outside, jump on stage. Absolutely. Give a little something to the crowd. I'm we sure there. they would love y'all. Oh, that would be so we dope. Yeah. June 19th. Absolutely. Yeah, so Absolutely. We're going to follow up. therapy for us. Talking about sex like this. And then, listen, y'all can get a little bit more raunchy for the live show. Okay. Y'all better have sex tonight. Okay. We have to, right? Film it. Put it in the cloud. I'm going to put it in the cloud. Uh, I'm gonna get my chain skirt. You put on your suit, I'm and there goes the whole porn. Prom, prom, porn. porn, 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 porn. Prom, meets, prom meets cheerleader. There we go. I'm with it. All right, I love it. it. All right, and thank you all once again for coming through. Make sure you check out their podcast too. Yes, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass. Dead ass. with Kadeen and Val. Yes, search for it, baby. Lip service. Cheer. <laughs>